often say here on the show that it's nice to see that our brand new king, King Charles III, is definitely putting his own stamp already on his reign. But why did he do this particular, and some say rather strange, idea? As ever, let me explain. Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here. Nice to see you. I hope you're keeping well. I know a lot of people are already questioning exactly what's happened and what exactly is King Charles doing. We've seen him do so many good things so far, haven't we? Let's not forget he very kindly donated all of that money to the good causes that hopefully are going to be spread out over the next couple of years, 250 million. We also told you about the incentive that he's undertaken as part of a government plan, the warm space idea for people during the dark winter months, somewhere to go for a meal and, you know, just somewhere to sit with company in a warm space. He did that at all of his residences, including Highgrove. What's interesting now, though, of course, is as we edge towards the wonderful coronation on May the 6th, history really is in the making because everything now that happens up until that point truly does become historical. Now, in the beginning of April, very soon, you will see for the very first time the Royal Mail stamps with King Charles on them. Here's the stamp. Now, a lot of people really are a little bit perplexed. Some people are rather upset by the fact that this is the first time we're seeing a monarch without his crown. In fact, it is the very first time that we're seeing a stamp without a crown. But why is it? Now, according to the executive out at Royal Mail, David Gould, he basically says that this was the idea fed back to him from the king. Now, we can only reason with the fact that apparently, according to that source, King Charles wanted to downplay the regality of, of course, being king in this cost-cutting day and age, and it could easily be rectified in a later portrait. But this, as I say, hasn't gone down particularly well, not just with stamp collectors, but with royalists and many people just who like to see, of course, the king wearing a crown on the stamp. Now, there's another reason for this that a lot of people don't realise is, obviously, these stamps have already come out and they're going to be part of the circulation, as I say, within the next couple of weeks. And let's not forget that the king has yet to be crowned. That is on May the 6th. So according to that insider at the Royal Mail, these could be interim sort of stamps, which could become, again, collector's items. However, according to him also, he feels that the king in future will be looking to downplay certain elements of, you know, shall we say, ostentatiousness. But the bottom line is, that is the selling point of the British monarchy. And the more that you downplay it, the more that you make it too ordinary, the less interesting and more sellable, particularly to the tourism world, it remains to be. Now, I don't know about you, I'd love your opinion on this stamp. Do you prefer the old-fashioned look with our late and beautiful monarch, Queen Elizabeth II? Or do you like the pared-down look? of King Charles III, minus crown. As ever, over to you. Let me know what you think to this particular story in the comments below. Should it be more regal or is it better to be relaxed? Neil Sean in the very heart of London.